as we talk about the mainstream comic book industry, it's clear that there's problems with it. I have been saying that for a long time. A lot of people have been saying that for a long time. The industry is not doing well at all. Even that whole hashtag comics broke me thing. We just have been these creators coming out and whining about how terrible the industry is, all of that, and all of this nonsense and all kind of stuff is not doing good for anything. But you have less and less people reading comic books. Well, should I say mainstream comic books because of what they're doing to it? Now, that is one part, but there's also another part to it. So let me get into this and I'll tell you, I'll give you the, the two parts I'm talking about. Is that the clear from bounding into comics? James Gunn said, if I was writing comic books today, I'd probably be unhappy because so few people are reading comic books. That's partially true. Few people are reading. Now, okay, it's partially true if you look at it in the sense of Western comic books. If you look at comic books on, on a whole, now, okay, I don't consider manga and comic books to be the same thing. I think manga is different from comic book, but if you look at it from that, from, from that, you want to you cannot class them together. More and more people are reading manga than they would ever read comic books because they keep producing dog crap when it comes to comic books. Meanwhile, manga, you actually have good actual content out there. So let me get into this here. I want to go to the part he's talking about when he says it so I don't have to... Okay, this is what he said here. Um, Gone then commented on the set of comic books. I started out, I wanted to write comic books when I was younger. If I was writing comic books today, I'd probably be I prob I'd probably be unhappy because so few people are reading comic books. But I would probably be really happy with what my job was. I'd enjoy that storytelling process, he said. So that's what's important to me. I just happen to be good at directing because directing takes a lot of different ways. Tell us that I do many of those things, but not as well. Okay, right. Then go on to say that, you know, um, God is not the only one to comment on the lack of people reading comic books. Marvel Comics writer Steve Orlando recently confirmed that comic book sales are struggling. Yeah, this, this is the tweet Steve Orlando put out. Sales are struggling alongside the whole industry right now. We'll, hope, we'll hopefully get to 10 to get even 15 issues. Sales will need to continue to climb. This was, this, this, this was the question asked. Are the sales of Scarlet Witch doing okay? Do you think we would expect to have at least 30 issues? So you're saying that, you know, sales are struggling. If you get to 10, great. But if you get to 15 issues, things would need to improve. So you're not even confident of getting to, 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 to um, 10 issues of what you're writing. They go on here and talk about how, um, you know, not, not only they admit that, but um, Scarlet Witch, um, number four, was the eighth most sold series by units in April 2023. Um, it was being outsold by Amazing Spider-Man number 23, Batman number 124, Spider-Man number 7, Guardians of the Galaxy number 1, Amazing Spider-Man number 24, Venom and X-Men. In March, number 3 was the 13th most sold book by units. Um, so Alvision number 2 was the 17th most sold book by units. So it's not looking good. This is Calvish number 1. You're not looking good for them. You have Steve Wallano coming out and saying that you understand me? And then you have James Gunn saying that you know, if he was writing comic books, he'd be unhappy because so few people are reading comic books. My question is, have you people met Eric July? I'm so wondering, have you all met Eric July? He started his Ripperverse, put out ISOM number one, made, made over $3.7 million on just one comic book. Isom number one, just one. And if we look at his Isom number two pre-order campaign, he's over $1.4 million on his way to $1.5 million. Over 11,000 total purchases. So he just pretty much, you know, run roughshod over everything. Why? It's not rocket science. 
if you want your books to sell, you just need to put out good material. You put out good stories. You don't go out of your way to attack your fans. You don't tell people, listen, we don't want you as a reader. We hate you. We don't like you. You could go to hell. And then you turn around now, and when these people say, well, okay, we're not going to buy it, you're complaining that nobody's buying it. It comes back to our um, motion in Kelly Sue, the comic, and she talk about that. If you don't like my politics, don't buy my books. Well, nobody bought her damn books, and then she had to freak out because nobody was buying it. You're not telling people to buy your stuff. Meanwhile, like I say, I saw number two, over 1.4 million or so. You know, so you think about that, Eric July has made over five million dollars on just two comics. That's it. Over five million dollars on just two comics. He is employing an entire team of people. You understand me? He's made jobs for these people, employing people, paying them good wages so, so, so they don't have to go on, on, on um, hashtag comics broke me and complain and whine. No, he's paying them decent wages. They're getting, they, they, they actually, they are, they're actually being paid above what these other simping lunatics are, are, are being paid. You understand me? They, are, they don't have to complain. He's brought on big name um, talent. Um, you, you know, Chuck Dixon, Suska Sisters, um, Gabe, El El Taeb, and others to come. It's not, not, not blacklisting anybody. I said, you know, if you do not align with what I want, you can't work here. No, it's bringing them on for their talent. And people are excited. I mean, if your first book made over 3.7 million, your second ISOM number two is already over 1.4 million. You still have Alpha Core coming out and being written by Chuck Dixon. People are hungry for that. You're going to make a lot of money on that. Plus, Yaira, who people actually really like, going to be written by the Suska sisters. That's going to make even more money. So he is just raking it in. But meanwhile, you have James Gunn out here saying, if I was writing comic books today, I'd probably be unhappy because so few people are reading comic books. <laughs> Look at all these people here. You understand me? All these people here who are reading it. Why? People want good quality entertainment. They do not want to be insulted, backed at, and told, we don't want you, you could go to hell. They want entertainment that they could enjoy. You're not giving them that. But I saw number two, Eric July's Ripperverse is giving them that. This is why it's making money. And you're out here talking about how you will be unhappy because so few people are reading comic books. Why are so few people reading comic books? Because you're putting out shit. That's why. Marvel and DC don't care about their characters, their customers, nothing. They keep showing that, that they don't give a damn. If they don't care, why should anybody else? Big name creators are going off and making their own works and getting it done. You understand me? Yes, Eric July making, making his money is, is absolutely phenomenal. But there are others. There are other creators who are doing it on their own and making quality work. People just need to go out there and support them because this is what, what people want. People want entertainment. You're not giving people that. So all I would say to James Gunn, and others like him, call up Eric July, ask him what he's doing, call up um, your boy Zach, call up, um, you, you know, um, Chuck Dixon, um, Ethan Van Shiver, and others, ask them what they are doing to make comics good, and follow that. Because you wouldn't be depressed if you were doing that, you wouldn't be out there talking about, oh, you know, how you'd be so unhappy because so, because, so, because so few people are reading comic books. When I saw number two, they're literally destroying it. Let me know your thoughts on this in the comments. If you have a different opinion, I'd love to hear it. If you like the video, should you hit that thumbs up? Subscribe if you haven't already. Ring notification bell notified every time I put out a new video. And I shall see you all next time. Take care.